With, with the way yeah, you like so, presented so. it, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Like that's pretty <laughs> dope. Like if you really like break it all down. <laughs> Yo, thank you, man. So, so, so I'll give you the story just even on that piece, right? Um, and and it, it exists. I know that Nunzio has it somewhere in storage. He told me. Um, no, he definitely on. does because he's. He he, I was recording at every dojo after, like I didn't record at Dumbo, or I think mm-hmm. maybe one time I recorded at Dumbo. One time. Yeah. I went there a couple of times. One time was for, I forgot what event, um, but I didn't go there much, right? Like two two times, right? Mm-hmm. Two, three mm-hmm. times or something like that. Mm-hmm. But like once the dojo was in Jersey, I went there all the time. Yeah, all the time, and, yeah. And the dojo has maintained itself in Jersey pretty much. And yeah. almost every dojo that I've gone to in Jersey Always has that yeah. same um, Run DMC uh, art piece P- poster up in it. Um, mm-hmm. So the story behind that shit is, you know, I, I alluded to the fact that I've been a fashion professional for the last, you know, I say eighteen years, but that's just wholesale. Like I've been in retail for much longer than that. Like retail wholesale, you put it together. I've been in the business. Um, shit, I don't even know since fucking ninety eight. So do the math on that. Whatever, right? That's probably like another twenty four. Uh, Start, there you go. No, I'm doing uh, no, 24. 24. 24. So, yeah. So, right. So, retail. So, 18 years wholesale. Um, six years retail before that. So, I was working at the Adidas store, right? And as we know, Queen Stand Up, JMJ, Run DMC, um, my Adidas. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the shit goes on and on, right? The, the, the fucking the, the resonating factors of this item fucking go on and on, right? Um, kid from Queens, you know what I'm saying? Raising hell, the whole nine, right? Like, I can't escape, and I will never fucking shy away from the fact that I'm a kid from Queens, right? Like, you know, if if you do hip-hop history, if you do hip-hop knowledge, like, Queens historically gets shit on, but Queens fucking made, you know, Queens in large No, no, come on. No, no listen, 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 BDP do said that. it, right? BDP said it. No, 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 no. But, come on. But either way. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm unapologetically a kid Hold on. Queens, I'm right? going to throw it yeah, out like this like, one thing. You're acting like you guys, you if, if you're where like I'm from, so yeah, because mm-hmm. if, if you're where I'm from, I got oh. told by everybody, bro, go to Queens. And then Flacco was okay. like, listen, let's reconsider this. Do you know how far away Queens is on your limited time that you have here? Let's do some like thinking on your first trip to New York City. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, bro. Hey. You yeah, when you're shit. not from, because because no, here's the thing, you have the New York City guy perspective. That's fine, but we're everywhere else in the world where everything in New York City is blessed. Like it's all good. Like bro, yeah. people will just quote so much sh- shit about Queen's history and its significance to hip hop in my circles, <sighs> man. They were like, "You have to go to Queens. You have to go." And like I, I got list know. after list after list. Upon which Flacco was like, "Do you see these buildings? Are you sure?" <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my thing is this, right? My thing was this, like, <laughs> yo, um, we're uptown, right? Manhattan and the city is the easiest thing to show yeah. him. Besides uptown, we went into Brooklyn one day. Yeah, um, right. I was that was just far. Like, yo, I'm a that was I kid. was a lot the of driving. Trip, next I didn't trip, know. You stay in Brooklyn. Yeah. The Brooklyn homies will show you all over Brooklyn and Queens, you know what I mean? And that doesn't have to be on me. You're asking me for too much, kid, you know? <laughs> Along with the fact that I get very lost in Queens. No, but, and, like, uh, I have I appreciation for how Queens. big all this is now, right? Like, yeah, it's big, big. Yeah, nah, it's it's big. It's huge. <laughs> Queens is huge, man. <laughs> Queens is huge. Queens is huge. Queens is huge in, in a lot of ways, man. Lots and lots of ways that we don't Listen, get, you know, I that, lived in that Queens. hip-hop minimizes. Wow, really? Wow, that's news. No, definitely. Uh, I lived on, <laughs> I lived in, I lived in um, Richmond Hill. I lived off of fucking oh, the uh, Lefferts uh, Ave stop of the fucking yeah. A train. You live, in, you live in Queens, Queens. Yeah. When I lived <laughs> there, when I lived there, I lost all, um, Linking up with my friends uptown, like it, yeah, it like people, people it went shit, from, man. It went from like it went from like doing it like maybe once or twice when I first moved there to like never at all. 
Yeah. 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 And like yeah. everything I did was in Queens. My partying was in Queens. My everything was in Queens. My job was Believe in Queens. Me. It's just Believe me. Queens became yeah. my life. And it was just like, yo, this is, I'm sorry to say this is not this is not great. Like, you know, like this is I didn't, what, this I didn't, is what, yo, sure. sure. I, did not, I, I did not enjoy that's, it. That's why I hung out in the LES and fucking, you know, yes. and, and Manhattan and Brooklyn so tough because my fucking Manhattan coming. kid. It's hard yeah. to like chill Go back. in the other bur- in the boroughs. Like yeah. you, you guys are like doing this wild comparison. But <laughs> like you really go to Manhattan for the litness because you know that the lit 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 shit is usually in Manhattan. I'm gonna have to you just know? throw it out yeah, there well. and be like, from my perspective, you might be right. But like, Yo, what you would I mean, consider to be some mundane ass shit in Queens to me would be the lit, lit, lit shit that they'd all be on my dick yeah. for doing regardless. And you nah, would be definitely, like, definitely, definitely. bro, you're, I got somebody go. hyped you're up about go. that random picture I took in a chicken spot. Because <laughs> 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 it's a New York City That's chicken fire. spot, you know? Like, it's it's enough. Like, yeah, all of it's dope. It doesn't matter what borough you're in. I mean, you guys care because you know things. I don't know. That's fire, things. yo. Yo, hold it, man. Next time, next time you come this, next time you come this way, man, just let me know, bro. Absolutely. We'll yeah, no, you guys I'll are gonna you. take care of him next time. Like that's it. I'll show you. I mean, I'll not. show you. I'll show you. I'll show you Queen, Queens the right way. You uh, need to see like certain shit. You know what I'm saying? But nice. um, but getting back to the poster, right? Getting back to the poster. So I was working at Adidas Originals, um, at JMJ passes. Uh, and so they re-released the, uh, it's not a superstar. It's a, it's a different shoe, right? Um, most people don't know that, uh, Adidas, like run DMC was wearing superstars, but, uh, you know, which is, which are shell toes, right? The shell toe Adidas is called the superstar. Um, but they made a different shoe for them so that they could wear it unlaced the way that they used to. Right, which is which is the joint that has like the the bands, like on the sides, whatever. So, either way, they re-released the fucking signature Run DMC shoe in honor of JMJ's passing, and so um, there was this poster, and it like it's a beautiful fucking just black and white poster. Um, all it says on it is R.I.P. Jam, Jam Master J with his date of birth and, 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 and date of passing. And it's a pair of fucking shell toe Adidas with the fucking tongue sticking up. Um, with, the, so with the fedora, right? With the, yes, with the, that's with right. The, with the famous, with hat. With the famous Run DMC uh, yep. uh, hat. You know what I mean? Yep. A hundred percent, and the fucking and the, and the sneakers, yo, a hundred percent, and so like it's, it's a moving you know. piece, like it's a, it's one of those pieces that like when you see it, like it, like you, like you take it in, like and and it's like, yo, this is a really nice piece, like mm, this yeah, is, bro, you know, it, it's and a it's good nothing. thing that you, it's a good thing that you like that you saved it from the dumpster, right? Because like yeah. being an event, being an event production. I understand um, that, like how much, how much I throw how much gets away tossed, shit. Right? I throw right, away shit right. because I'm like, no, like I don't care about like uh, whatever uh, Smart Waters latest promotion or some, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the point yeah. is, you throw away so much, like, but sometimes yeah. good, good stuff. Like, yeah, there's guys uh, uh, on the stagehand side that are constantly like, yo, can I take that wood, man? Like, wood is really expensive right now. <laughs> like, yeah. you guys are about to throw away, like, a couple thousand dollars worth of wood. Like, don't do that. Like, I'll take it home. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, man, if you want to take it in your car, like, feel free. Like, but, like, you the, know? The, the fact that you saved something like that that's, like, a valuable piece of, like, right. you know, uh, hip hop history, art. man. Hip hop history, yeah. and more importantly, more importantly, right? Like it's like you know that's it's it's not because it also does have an Adidas logo on it. You know what I'm saying? Like beyond beyond just the sneaker, right? So it's like it's really more like to me something like that is more of a statement of the impact of hip hop and and the hip hop culture, right? Because here is you know a global company, a global entity. Um, who not only, you know, 
we have both examples, right? Like in in our upbringing of of like hip hop and 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 it's and it's um some timey relationship with the fashion industry, right? Like you know you got you know like case in point like Tommy Hilfiger um you know saying that I you know oh I don't make my shit you know I don't make my clothes for black people when Grand Poobah was like your bow hanging baggy heel figure on the top knapsack on my back that's just my flavor art right so you know hip hop is has been this commercially global driving force for so long right and we have that in our history right we got the Ralph Lauren and the, and the Tommy Hilfiger shunning um hip hop's influence or hip hop's uh adaptation right of of these things um and here's like adidas which is exponentially larger than either of those two things right and embracing like yo run dmc like jam master j like foundational right like 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 thank you like homage you know what i'm saying to 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 what you know yeah, they were the one culture of the first, essentially. yeah you know what I'm saying? Like what the culture did, what the culture represented. Right. That's the first yeah, if you yeah, a hundred percent. If you fucking look back at it, that's the first commercial hip hop relationship is run DMC that's the and first, the Adidas. That's the first organic mm-hmm. commercial hip hop relationship, right? Like right. that's like sure. that's why it was always kind of cool because it always made sense. Like right. run DMC was just doing street New York shit at the time, which was being right. cool and having right. Adidas and right. having shell tops and, and right. fucking no laces, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or like the big fat laces. Right. And Adidas, instead of doing what every other corporation was doing at the time and like and shit, turning, and, yeah. turning their back and, and shit yep. and disrespecting, they embraced them. And that's yep. like dope. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, so just so just recognizing, um, you know, the significance of the of, of Jam Master J, you couple like the significance of Jam Master J to me as a kid from Queens, the significance of Jam Master J to hip hop, the significance of the culture and the significance of the fact that it was Adidas, right, paying homage. I had to have the piece. And so I took the piece. Right. And so, um you know, as the dub is growing, and and gentlemen, um, I just gotta be candid with y'all. It's eight fifty in, in in about ten minutes. I gotta fucking sign off personally. Oh, um, <clears throat> yeah, but you know, as far as the dub yeah. is concerned, like I, I, you know, I have, you know, I don't know. You guys probably saw me, um, you know, air the, uh, you know, the second ever MC challenge, right, on on the dubbing in the crates show, right. Um, I know Flacco, you caught a couple of pieces of things on some late night, early, early EO Zoom shit, right? Like, I knew very early and might have been the first person to understand that what was happening with respect to EO Dub needed to be documented, right? Like, needed to be preserved like needed to be um shit archived honestly you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and and so that's what kind of just led me to just doing what i was doing right like i was always a collector i have this fucking like example of journalism and 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 of you know documenting historical significance i come from this fucking time and 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 understanding and being witness to disruption um and truthfully that's what eow felt like was disruption you know what i'm saying um you know in the in the underground new york hip-hop scene right like for the first time you have three you know sort of you know significant like underground hip-hop entities eye to eye solid ground and fucking you know high society making noise right um and just like you know, the innovation, right? Like, like, like. Honestly, my my Dubkovitz status, and you know, is is born out of yes, that collector's mentality and that collector's and documentarian um, mindset, but is also tremendously like the result of the innovation 
of the MC challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was blown away. Like, my fandom, right, of hip-hop, right? Like, my fandom of music and my fandom of, of, of like, the concept, right? Like, yo, I was blown away by the first MC challenge. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, you motherfuckers... You know, between Vice and and, and 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 super, you know, super manager, fucking Coach Calhoun, like I was like, yeah, y'all motherfuckers have created a standard bearing, um, test, right? It's not even like a proving ground; it's a fucking test, right? It's like a test of your fucking fitness. You know what I'm saying? As an MC, right? And so, like. I was blown away by the first one and I was like, damn, this shit needs to be, you know, documented. It needs to be fucking um saved. And so unfortunately, like that's why like the you know the the, the first recording that I have of an MC challenge is of the second one and not the first one where Webify slays it. You know what I'm saying? Um also I was fucking judging the very first MC challenge. So that's significant too. You know what I'm saying? That's part and parcel of why, like I was so fucking impacted by this shit and so blown away by it. Right. Um, and innovation, not from, a, not, not only from a perspective of like testing fitness, you right. In in terms of all aspects of being an, an MC, but innovation in the sense of not the anti battle. Right. Like Mm. it's not it's it's not the fucking battle. It's not the I don't know Flacco and I'm fucking passing judgment and making assumptions on his, you know, on his appearance. You know what I'm saying? And like what I may have heard and what may or not be true. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I'm not I'm really just an MC competing against myself. Right. Like and, and that's and that's the genius of like. The rounds. Right, the rounds are significant, but the rounds also wouldn't mean as much if the fucking judging criteria wasn't as um, whole. Mm. Right, right. Like the judging criteria hits you on your crowd response, which, if you take like a battle crowd response dictates a lot of the winner whether or not the fucking bars are fucking up to snuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, Lyricism, right? Like, there are MCs, dub MCs included, who exhibit, you know, superior lyricism, right? But does that lyricism fucking translate to impact? Right? Like, have you spoken over your fucking audience? Right? Like, does, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Did it hit? You know what I'm saying? The way, like, you intended it to hit. Like, it's fucking beautiful. It's eloquent. You know what I'm saying? But did it hit? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, Stage presence, right? Like, yo, if we in a fucking far, four bar cipher, right? Like, and these, honestly, like, I'm illustrating the ways in which, like, as a fan and and as a person, you know, as I'm talking about it now, this is what I'm realizing. This is how I think that the I think that the beauty of the challenge, or at least from my perspective, is that it's given me a basis on which to quantify and qualify my fandom of certain fucking MCs. You know what I'm saying? Because it not only measures their aptitude, but informs, like, why their aptitude resonates. Mm. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's like, yo, like, you know, it's, 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 it's a quantification of the impact, right? That, 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 like, why did it touch me? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why, when I was nine, did fucking NWA saying niggas with attitude that, like, that's what NWA stands for and rapping what they were fucking rapping about and express yourself and everything like that? Like, why does that, like, why does that touch me? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, the cadence, the fucking stage presence, the lyricism, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it equally informed, um, 
and gave and provides an ability to fucking, you know, concretely say why you fuck with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And so like and that so like sense. just as yeah, you know, and so just like as a fan of hip hop and as a fan of like my friends, right? And my friends who fucking created this fucking thing, it was like dog. I mean, it totally makes sense why you had to um, document that.